Hey guys, it's CobDev here. Uh, welcome to the third part of Let's Create Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, today we're going to be making the stamina bar. It's going to be really, really great. And if you're wondering why I sound so happy today, um, technically, it's none of your business. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the video, I'm just having a good day. Um, sorry for the mean insult. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we have to actually make the stamina bar, which I will include in the description. You can go ahead and download it, or you can follow the steps I took in Adobe Illustrator. It's really, really quick. Um, I already recorded it. Uh, I'll view that right now. Hey guys, so we're just going to uh, jump into Illustrator right here. Uh, just a disclaimer, I am not that great with Illustrator, but I was advanced enough to do this. So I'm going to make two layers. We're going to make the background layer just a box. Um, uh, we line it to the center. We are going to make it black so that it is keyed out um, in our opacity settings later on. Uh, top layer, we're going to create a circle. Uh, pretty much to fill the entire thing. We're gonna make it white so we can alter its color, align it to the center. I'm gonna duplicate it, take the second one and I'll make it 750 by 750. Oh, and the first one was 2000 by 2000. Select both of them, grab the shape builder tool and alt click the center one which removes the center one. Then we just export it as a PNG and that's really all you need. Or you can just download it in the description. Also, follow my Twitter, at CobDev1, because I know I'm going to forget to say this at the end of the video. I just know it. Um, I will be posting updates there. You can uh, DM me and uh, for help, and, uh, and I'll give you help as best as I can, because I have, like, three followers at the moment. Um, but if you want to know when the next videos are coming out, and you want to know um, any type of updates on the channel, that'd be great. All right, now that we're back, um, if you wanted to create your own, we're going to go ahead and come into content, and I'm going to make a new folder. Um, called mechanics and in that folder I'm gonna call make another one called sprint all right let's go in and we need to import our we need to import our stamina bar all right open that up okay once it's in here open it up and we are going to have to take the compression setting and change it to user interface 2D. Oh wait. Yes, I was right. And then the texture group to UI. All right. Save that. Close it. We don't need it again. And we're going to create a new material. All right, we'll call this stamina PB material, PB for progress bar. Okay, here we go. First thing we gotta do is we gotta change it from surface to user interface, right? And the blend mode is going to be translucent. All right, first thing to do, let's bring in a texture sample, and this will be our uh, stamina bar that we made in Illustrator right here. Okay. And we got to take a, we got to make a vector parameter. This is going to be the color of the bar, and we're going to be able to change this uh, in outside sources. So by default, let's just make it that green, a nice green it has in the Legend of Zelda, um, and we'll be able to turn red and such when you run out of stamina. Okay, and we have to multiply these. All right, let's leave that alone for now. Let's start the second part. So let's create a texture coordinate. Okay, open that up. And we need, after that, ooh, my picture is blurry, a custom rotator. These complicated ones, I always mess these up. Okay, hold down the two button click to get a uh, constant two vector in there. The red we will set to 0.5, the green also 0.5, and this will go into the rotation center. Hold down 1 and click, this will create a constant for us, and this will be a value of 0.25. And this is making sure our um, stamina bar starts at uh, 12 o'clock, because it is uh, a circle, obviously. <laughs> and Take our custom rotator, add, and then we need another constant. Just press one, hold down one, and click, 
and this will be a negative 0.5. Okay. This is another one that I get mixed up with them. Vector to radial value. I don't make uh, materials as much as I just do other kinds of programming, so <laughs> had to do a lot of research. I went through a lot of uh, a lot of trial and error to figure out the best way to um, give you guys this circular stamina bar, um, which I think UE4 should just support in general when you make one. I think that'd be super cool, save you the trouble. Um, okay, out of vector converted to angle, we're gonna need another add. Oh. Should have been watching the screen. Another add. We're going to need a scalar parameter. This is the second parameter that we will be controlling with outside sources called decimal. And this is essentially the percentage um, of stamina you have. Let's give it a default just for testing purposes of 0.74 or whatever. Add. OK. See that line right there that's showing how that proves that we're going to get a start from the top. Okay. Um, we need a floor. Perfect. And we need. Oh, I went past it. Let's bring this back. And we need a. A second multiply. So we're gonna take these two that we made, multiply them, perfect, and add that into the final color. And then, last thing, we take the texture sample and we bring that into the opacity. So let's uh, let's bring this up. Okay, save and apply. Let's create some UI. So let's get out of mechanics. I'm going to make a new folder. We call this UI. We're going to create two uh, widget blueprints. So the first, I'm just going to call it main HUD. And this is the only, um, as, far, um, as far as I've planned out, this is the only HUD that we will be um, uh, creating to add to the viewport. It uh, it makes it a lot simpler than I used to do it in a way where I'd make HUD for every little thing and then add them all one by one to the viewport. But what we're going to do is we're going to make widget blueprints for everything, put them into the main HUD, and then just add the main HUD, um, which is a much smarter approach in my opinion. So second widget will be, this will be the actual stamina uh, bar, uh, which open that up. Let's get rid of the canvas panel. We're going to go to search palette, image, put it right there. Zero. Stamina bar. Okay. Is variable, should be checked. Brush, image. The image is going to be the material we made. What do we call it? Stamina PB material. There we go, and of course it looks all distorted right now, but that's exactly what we need um, for it to just fill up the whole thing. Because um, in this widget we're not worrying about sizing and placement. So we'll jump into the graph, get rid of these, actually bring back the event tick right here. So here we're going to be searching for... Um, I'm not searching, but uh, it's it's in this graph here where we're going to be depleting the actual uh, uh, bar in relation to how much stamina you actually have. Because if you remember from the last video, all we saw was the tick giving us the number every single frame of what our stamina was at. Now we're replacing that with an actual visual um, uh, uh, reflected from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, now I hate using event ticks. I don't like how expensive they are. Um, it, uh, but at the moment, trying to use a timer function just wasn't working for me. Everything I was trying, it kept bringing up bugs, it kept, 
Um, I don't know why. I'm going to keep looking, and maybe in a future video we're going to replace the tick with uh, something I can find, because I really never want to use ticks. <laughs> but for now, a tick in here is fine. Uh, really don't have to worry about it. So let's just get dynamic... Nope, I lied. We need to first get the stamina bar, which could have been dragged in from right here. This is the one we're getting. And from this stamina bar, we need to get dynamic material. Um, and from this, we need to get a vector parameter value. And the parameter value is color. And if you remember now, if we go into here, color is right here. So we want to be able to change this to red when you run out of stamina. That's why we made a parameter and not just a, uh, a singular color right in there. So color and then the value, to determine the value, we're going to need an if statement. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, and the condition before we're going to need to get player character, because here we're the the condition is our stamina value, pretty much. Um, cast to third person character. We can right click convert to pure cast because we don't need the execution nodes for anything. As third person character, we need to get is exhausted. Um, so not the value, uh, of course, it's it's just are you exhausted? That's why we made this variable. Makes things simpler. Okay. Um, so the easiest way to do this is take this value and promote it to a variable. And we're going to call it bar color. Statement of bar color. Um, and you'll see the easy, yeah, so this is going to make this easier. So if it's true, then we set the, no, not set, this is not the way English works, set bar color to red when he's exhausted. And if it's false, sorry for the footsteps you may be hearing, <laughs> people in my house once again, and if it's false, uh, we want to set it back to its normal green. like that. There we go. That's pretty much it for bar color. Um, to be safe, it's not ne completely necessary, but to be safe, we can go ahead and set the default value to its regular green as well. So we have, yeah, just that extra precaution. All right. And then second thing we need, let's get the return value from the get dynamic material. And we also, because we have to set the uh, decimal for the actual value, so we set scalar parameter value. So scalar parameter. Um, gonna get a couple reroute nodes just by double clicking to uh, not get lost. Okay, parameter name, I believe we called it decimal. You can double check. Um, yeah, decimal right here. See, because when you change this, if you look up here, um, oop, oh, it has to be under one. Um, <laughs> like 0.4, you can see, there you go, 40%. Oops. Okay, so the value of this, if we just take this here and we get stamina level. And we also get max stamina. We divide it. Oop, that's not right. Divide, float by float. Oh my gosh. Float by float, and then we get our proper percentage, and we can put that into the value. All right, and that should be everything for the. Uh, blueprints of the stamina bar widget. Last step, I think. I might be lying to you. <laughs> Go into the main HUD. So this needs the canvas panel because this is our screen borders. And we're going to go down to user created, take the stamina bar widget. Oh, we've already made. We can just drag that in there. Uh, 
size X, size Y. I'll just make it 100 by 100 for now. All right, it seems like a good size. Anchor is going to be the center. And then the position, let's try a, maybe a, like, like there. So try negative 275. And let's bring it a little higher to where his head may be. Like, yeah, negative 330. Now this could, might be better if we put it right there. Let's try that. Let's see if that um, gives us more accurate anchor point. Okay. Um, all right. Now let's go into the third person character. Okay, we need to organize this a bit. Let's take away the event tick. We don't want to see that anymore. These are both sprint. Let's uh, let's comment this out. We'll call it sprint. Okay. Um, we also need a begin play. So in this begin play, I'm gonna create a sequence just in case because. I usually have multiple things that begin play by the time I'm done. And the first thing in sequence, we will create a widget. The widget will be the main HUD. We are going to promote this to a variable so we can reference it later on. It will be called uh, main HUD ref. Let's put that in a category of UI, which we're just making now for the first time. Okay, let's take the variable and let's add it to viewport. Now let's give this a test a -roo. So we press play. Look at that. So we have it right above our head. You can reposition all that you want. I think that looks great. Um, always stays there, we sprint, it goes down, when we go really slow it should turn red, perfect, and now we're real slow, we can't sprint anymore, uh, turns back to green, alright, perfect, and we got that, we got that nice black background. Alright, this should uh, conclude everything um, for the stamina bar, I really hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, uh, please join me in the next episode, which I'll release in a few days. All right.